So guys, I'm here at a at a soilless farm in near Salem city, uh, and we are on our way to Palakkad. So I happened to stop here to see what's happening. So this is a 12,000 square feet uh, poly house that you see around here, and this area is generally hot and dry. The temp the relative humidity never goes more hardly highest that it has gone is about 58 percent. So, there are foggers fitted here in the greenhouse, that's fine for a dry weather. And as you see here, there's a flat bed system out here. And then there are, uh, there's an A-frame system here. And this entire project co cost was approximately 40 lakhs. Um, uh, people were, uh, the people who went for this project, this particular institution, they were shown nice beautiful numbers on the excel sheet and they were told price will be very high and this and that but they have not been able to realize that price so this is an example of what is happening in this industry yeah so i've been 22 years in this industry and i keep listening to at least three to four such disasters every month somebody has lost 10 10 lakhs somebody has lost one crore somebody has put 1.8 crores like recently the people from uh, what is that place near metupalayam or somewhere that side 1.8 crore for one acre. They have not made one rupee. So the reason is because the people who are getting into it, they don't know the reality, and the people and because of that, people are making use of that in that ignorance. So I've been. I mean, I will thank you for asking me to come here. There are many many things that you need to do to get this organized, and a lot of changes. It can be made all right. There is no doubt about it. But with the correct guidance, you can do a good job. So yes, guys. So you can see different. Normally, in a poly house, we never grow. We can grow most of the leafy vegetables together, but you cannot grow wine crop, leafy vegetables all in the same place. So diseases will spread from one crop to the other. Yes. Now the people who recommended this whole thing, you can see the. Uh, the uh, the uh, no, shade net is there, shade net is alright, but the polyfilm is uh, mm. yellow in color. That's yellow color, this color is mostly used for gerbera, roses, those kind of uh, crops. Floraters. Yes, but not for vegetable crops. Because the diffusion and the wavelengths of light that passes through all that matters. So there has not been any scientific advice given to the people who purchased or did this project. And uh, my only wish is that whenever you are going to do any project, first ask you, ask them to show you a successful project. People will tell you, I have done this project in so and so place, that place, 100 projects, all that. But you ask them to show you one success story. If they show you one success story, then only you can believe them. Otherwise, in this industry, everybody is losing money, especially those who are trying to do this farming. But the people selling the items are becoming rich. That is what is happening. So thank you guys. I'm, I mean, we'll keep talking about this. Let me see if they want me to involve myself in helping them get this all right organized. It can be organized, but we'll have to re-model and re-engineer. Yeah, re-engineering re has to be done. A lot of re-engineering. And we'll take it forward. Not a problem. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you.